Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode. But first, before we go anywhere to do anything, I need you to hit the like, comment, subscribe button down below, turn on the notifications, do all that stuff. I need to start calling that at the beginning of the videos because for some reason people aren't doing it and that's fine, it's your choice, okay? But I'm gonna call it out as a reminder now just in case you don't get through that five minute mark. Okay, so with that behind us, I'm going to uh, address the title. Yes, I'm going to be confronting my haters. I'm going to be confronting the trolls. I'm going to be confronting some of you watching right now because normally I don't. And the advice I give is to never feed the trolls. But I feel like you guys put me up on a, on a pedestal. You put me above others. Like I don't have feelings sometimes that it doesn't hurt my feelings when somebody calls me a name or says something wrong to me. It does. It still hurts. Even if the comment isn't that bad, it's still a dig. It still messes with my head and I don't like it. So as an example, as a retaliation, actually, because I, I never retaliate. Like I sometimes come off on rants, which I guess this video is going to be a rant, but I don't do that. Unlike a lot of YouTubers who will attack you and force their armies upon you and everything else, I don't want that to happen. In fact, I'm going to do something much worse to you. I'm going to delete your comment because I'm going to give examples here. I'm going to delete your comment so nobody can find it. And then I'm going to show it on my screen and I'm going to address it directly and to the point because I feel like you might not understand that you actually hurt my feelings and you actually triggered me in a way that I shouldn't react to. In fact, I tell everybody that ever talks to me, don't feed the trolls. And that's what I should do. I should be taking my own advice right now, but I'm going to use this moment as a teaching moment, as an example of what you should do in life. So let's get started shall we? The first one that I'm going to bring up is right here. So the person who sent this was replying to somebody that said, code, you are so underrated. You deserve so much more. You like, you deserve a lot more. That's great. If you, if you want to pump me up like that, if you want to give me an encouragement and everything else, that is great. That is awesome. I love it. Thank you to the person that said this, not everyone wants to watch a more than three year old game. I think he is rated as he should be. Let's take a moment. This, this person only has one subscriber. You um, first don't have your facts straight. Lumber Tycoon 2 is over 10 years old. It's been very popular for a very long time and it's still on the front page. So to you, my hater, to you, the person that might not understand that this comment is mean, this comment is ill-tempered, I'm going to do you a favor. In fact, I'm going to do what I do to most people and I'm going to delete the comment and I'm not going to ban you. Now, if I happen to see your name again and you have something to say about it, or if you come back to me at all, I'll escort you out the door and you will never come back to my channel and you're going to have to just continuously create new accounts to come and say anything and when you do those are going to get caught and i'm going to delete them and i'm going to get them out of my channel and i will never respond to you again today is the only day that you're going to get my attention because this right here is not right so to everyone that's watching right now if you ever get comments like this ignore them you do not have to waste the energy to do this. If somebody comes up to you in a video game and they are a thief and you have a bag of gold, and I, this was a TikTok that I saw, uh, I saw. If you have a bag of gold, it's 100 gold, and they take three gold pieces from you and take off running, are you going to expend any more energy to run after that person and try and get your gold back 
in what could be a risk of losing the rest of your gold or what could be in the, the risk of like losing more than just your gold. No, you're not. You still have 97 pieces of gold. Your time and your energy is more efficiently spent to forgive this person. So to the person that wrote this comment, I've deleted your comment and I forgive you if it was a mistake. And I forgive you if it was a mean comment intentionally made to trigger me or to cause harm to me. I forgive you. I hope that you stick around to actually give good influence and good comments because I hate seeing these. That's such a strong word. I don't like seeing these. These kind of comments are horrible. And these kind of comments happen across the YouTube, across the internet, across everything. TikTok has them. Twitter has them. Every social media has these kind of comments. I'm not going to be able to change the world, but you know what? I can definitely act in the way that I want the world to act. And by addressing this directly and to the point, I hope I make a point. Like I, I hope I make an impact to somebody. Now, granted, I, I'm very true to my word. I have deleted this comment. So even if you go searching for it, even if you think you might have found the person that did it, no hate towards them. There is, I don't want any kind of retaliation. There, it's gone. That is in the past. Bullet is downrange. The only thing we can do is forgive. That's it. Next is this one. <laughs> if your channel will not blow up, you can't reach 500,000 in seven years. <laughs> Again, um, not as bad. Like... I mean, you, you're not wrong, but that's also not encouraging at all. In fact, this is what I call a nice right? It's a very nasty way of putting a nice comment. And it's not really even that nice. You know, it's, it's pointing out the obvious. I know that I could possibly fail. You know that if you don't study for a test, you're not going to get there. So the time and energy that I'm going to put on my channel, I'm going to go just like this. I'm going to look at this comment and say, you know what? You are right. You are 100% right. If I don't blow up, I'm probably not going to reach 500,000 in seven years. But you know what? What if you're the person that encouraged me to do just the opposite of that? What if you're the person that could have pushed me a little bit further? What if you're the person that could have encouraged somebody else that's in the comments? to help push their channel along. I've helped tons of channels and I've never asked for anything in return. I don't expect it. Now, I will give it granted. I've been jealous of star programmers, star programs. I've been jealous of the YouTuber programmer. I've been jealous of a couple of the star devs, um, of, of the developers programs, but you know what? I also didn't assert myself and I don't expect to have 25,000 views per video. I release every single day and my videos are just this. It's me talking. It's not gaming or, or tutorials anymore. It's giving my outlook into life, into what it means to be human, to understand what we go through every single day. If you're getting bullied or if you're getting comments like this, Delete it and move on. Don't respond to it. Don't take into account that this could be, this could be a very honest mistake right here. And the same thing, if, if you did this intentionally, and if you said that over here, that way, if you did this intentionally, if you said this to be mean, I forgive you for it. And I didn't ban you. You're still here on the channel. You can still comment. If I see that you comment again and it's something nasty, you're gone. I don't like giving more than one chance. And there's a lot of words. I'll get to the words in a second. Let's go, let's go to the last one. And this one, <laughs> I think you were trying to be encouraging, but let's just show it. Let's just show and I'm going to address this. Exploiting is gay in lumber. 
Okay, let's address the problem with this. You just used a word that in context to the 90s may have been acceptable among the peers of who I was as a teeny tiny middle schooler. But that is not appropriate. Because guess what? I have friends who are gay. I have friends who are part of the LGBTYQ plus community. We are supporters of your choice. Now, if you don't understand what it means to be gay or what it means to be lesbian or bi or trans or any of the other letters or, or um, blah, 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 community, then you'll learn eventually. Don't worry about it for right now. But this is not an appropriate statement. I've deleted your comment. And I, I hope it was in good jest, like, ha, oh, those stupid exploiters. But at the same time, I want to say something about the exploiters. Okay? If you're exploiting to cause pain and to cause hurt, you're wrong. And I believe you should be banned and kicked off Roblox. Roblox isn't stopping it. Developers have been trying to program around it. Developers are not going to fix this problem. The game developers, uh, like Defaultio, no offense, Defaultio is super smart. He is n ultra mega smart. The guy can make Arduino chips that will measure the size of an Ollie to see if it was a sick Ollie or not. He can, he can do all kinds of mad programming. And yet, exploiting still exists inside lumber. Now, there's two ways we can look at this. Bad Defaultio for not just stopping the exploits. Bad Roblox for not stopping the exploits. This takes a lot of energy. This takes a lot of me taking time out of my day to address that an exploiter is not a hacker. They are a cheat. They are a cheater and they are a, a rule breaker. You know, they, they are ruining the game. And don't get me wrong, there are exploiters who only exploit to help give away stuff, to help people inside the game. You're still exploiting. You're still violating a terms of service. You can paint it however you like. You're still in the wrong. And I will not sit here and justify it. You may justify it inside your own head. You're not going to convince me. Now, I'm going to hide the haters' comments. And then, like I said, some of them might not be haters. You might genuinely be a fan and just said something in a manner that didn't sound right or it was taken out of context. But I want you to know that there is over a hundred comments um, 150 comments that get flagged every two, three days. And every once in a while, I'll go through them just to look. And what's funny is the majority of the comments that are flagged and taken out of the, the thing, if you are one of those people who made a comment, right, you will still see it when you go look at the video. Nobody else will. If it's your comment, you still see it. But it's not until you open up like an anonymous browser or you sign in with a different YouTube account and you go look to see if your comment's actually there. That's the, that's the only true way to know whether or not your comment got flagged. So when you say stuff inside there like, Code, I hate you because you didn't read my comment. Well, um, I'm here to tell you like it may have been flagged and there's a lot of hate comments in there. There's a lot of good comments that get caught in the net that is my word filter. I've got stuff in there like cancer. Yes, cancer gets flagged because back in 19, or back in 2015 to like 2017, to call somebody cancer was a derogatory term. It was a bad word. It's the, you're like, oh, this guy's content is cancer. Well, you know what? It was, it was kind of in context. I could understand it until my wife got cancer. And it's not something that you want to joke about. So 
I put it on my words list and it's gone. If you ask my, <laughs> this is the bad thing. There are some people that asked, Code, how's your wife? Is she doing okay with cancer? That comment, although genuine, got flagged and does not show up. There's other ones like, Code, you're so great at Arsenal. What a great headshot. The word shot gets flagged. You have to be careful about the context of which you put words. Um, there was another one like, Code, it's my birthday and I'm 17 years old. The word old gets flagged because I had so many comments about you're too old to play Roblox. That is the extent. It is so strict. Now, a lot of you who are the haters and want to give me hate comments, you might try to get around the filters and stuff like that. I will warn you now, there's still, there's misspellings of words. There's words with uh, ASCII characters. There's, there's all kinds of words. Don't test it, okay? I'm asking you, please don't go and do the filter thing. Leave a positive con comment down below. Do something nice, you know? And if you really are just following my channel, just to give hate, why are you wasting the energy? Are you not tired? Can you not just leave the channel and go somewhere else? If you're here to give positive motivation and to hear my word of positive motivation every single day, because that's what I'm going to do. I hope to give you some peace, some moment of clarity, some resolve to when you come across a situation that might be in the same manner, you'll think, hmm, maybe I should react this way instead of the way that you were going to act. And that's not to say like, I don't react poorly sometimes. There's a lot of times that I, I get really bad raps for things. And it's okay. Because at the end of the day, I know that I love my family. Oh, that's... I love my family. I, I love gaming. I love doing YouTube. But I, I, I do want to address another one. Okay. <sighs> I don't want to be your dad. <laughs> Sorry. I have two kids of my own. I have a wife who I love dearly. We've been married for 17 and a half years. 17 years. So... I get comments a lot of the times where people are asking me to be their dad. I will gladly give you advice. I am not your father. I am me. And to the comments who are like, my mom's single. <laughs> I'm very flattered. Thank you for telling me. I'm married and that's not what this is. Okay, it feels very personable. I, it feels like I'm talking to you directly. And I hope it stays like that. Because I would never want to shatter your dreams and hopes and ideas of what my channel is, but I want to be very genuine and honest about what this relationship is. I'm a YouTuber, you are a fan. And that's what this is. There's a lot of the times that that idea gets crossed because I respond to people, because I talk to people, because I play with my fans, and because I interact with my fans, a lot of that kind of gets lost. Like, you think I'm your best friend? I'm not your best friend. I want you to know that that's not what this is. To the same thing, if there's an adult who thinks that we have a relationship, we're still YouTuber and fan. That is a boundary I will never cross. So, I love you guys. There's nothing wrong with saying, I love you, Code. Great. I love you too. I will say it. But I won't love you more than my family. Okay. I think that's enough. I've probably gone way far beyond what I was going to say. In the most part and you know what i'm going to get back to building 
because I really want to get a gold play button done. And I also have a collaboration that I got to do tonight. Um, and there's a lot of people who have been asking about collaborations and collabs and stuff like that. Hit me up on, on Twitter, okay? Don't take me not responding as me saying no. I'm going to tell you a maybe. And it might happen, it might not happen. We'll just see where it goes, okay? So, love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to say at the end of the, the YouTube videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Oh, and by the way, that doesn't have just context of comments and stuff inside YouTube. It's the same thing if you're walking down the hallway inside school. I want you to take the same idea. If somebody's calling you names or if somebody's making a big deal, just think to yourself, why are they doing that in the first place? Is it because really I did something wrong? Did I make a fool of myself? Did I do something? It's not you. Okay? It's them. It's always them. And the best thing you can do is ignore it. Tell tell somebody if it's dangerous, like if if there's physical harm or something like mental harm that's going on with it, tell somebody. Tell somebody who can do something about it. Because it shouldn't continue every single day. That's that's not right. And if you are in danger, talk to someone. Okay. Okay, seriously, seriously. I gotta go. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, I forgot the button. Steven! Steven. Where's the button? Ah, oh, there. There we go. What's that thing I say at the end? Oh, yeah. Outro. I just want to iterate one more time before we go, before you click on that next video, because I know they pop up like right here and here. There's a subscribe button like somewhere in the middle right there. Again, I don't normally do this, but every once in a while I get to the point where I've got to respond just so you know what I do with comments like these, with the energy, that negative energy. Usually I don't even expend this much time saying anything about it. You can, you can ask most of the people that I work with. It's, it's just me. I don't want to spend time on these kind of comments, but I will every once in a while to give you an example of how to act. All right. I love you. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.